Hi guys, how are you doing? Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome. Uh, it's good to see you. Uh, sorry I wasn't on last week. I'm struggling speaking. I've got some really bad um, sores and things in my mouth. So um, I am struggling to speak, so I've been just drinking loads and loads of water. This is the last thing I need just before my holiday, which this time next week will be up in the air. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Went and picked up the uh, travel money today. So we've got loads and loads and loads of dollars ready for tipping and buying our um, souvenirs to come back with because we collect lots of wood. So we'll be doing that. Um, how are you all? I hope you're uh, a lot better than I am. Um, I'm on my little weekend off. So I've just only got three more shifts. Three more shifts to go. And then that's going to be broken up for a fortnight and a bit. So need it. Need this break. So tired. Um, my daughter's away in Switzerland at the moment. She's been sending me photos every day and it looks amazing. Absolutely. Uh, got, I was going to come and talk to you last week. I had everything sorted, what I was going to say and everything. And because um, I'd been listening to a lot on the news. And I'm quite open-minded and I'm quite accepting of people and who they choose to be. But I wanted to, to talk, discuss, discuss. Discussion is a two-way thing. You know, talk about transgender. I can't even say it, transgender. And the news report I've been listening to had said that children in primary school age were being spoken to about it by their teachers and saying that there's more than two genders. No, nope. there's male and there's female. There's no in between. There's no bigger picture of them. There's just the two, in my opinion. However, what I was really cross with, and it really irked me, is that children of this age were, one was identifying as a cat. Another one as a horse, a horse. The teacher used to let her out or still does, I don't know, let's her out mid-lesson so she can go for a canter. Now I've worked in school, I worked in school for 10 years. I was a TA who used to teach quite a lot. Uh, so I did a lot of class cover. Taught way more than the actual percentage you were supposed to. If a child had said to me, I wish to be identified as a horse, I would have looked at them and I'd have said, no, you are a child and you are a little girl. End of. That is it. I also think, you know, children have got so much to be going on with whilst they're growing up. Their brain is like a sponge and they should be doing all this learning, not learning, about, not catching on to the latest sexual craze or whatever. Um, yeah. And I also think encouraging children to have these transgender issues is having a bigger effect on people who would just generally be gay. 
And I think by making them decide that I'm a little boy in a girl's body, so therefore I must change to be a little boy instead of I'm a little girl and I like other girls. That's making, well, if I'm a boy, I can like girls. I, I think there's some play on that in some people's minds. I'm not saying everybody, please. I would not wish to undermine those adults who have transitioned. But even so, you can hear, you hear stories, tales, people's experiences who have transitioned and said, in hindsight, they were too young and they wished they hadn't. And I think there's too much pressure in today's society for all this acceptance. We have to accept. And I think it's gone completely the other way. And it's just mind-blowingly weird. I mean, I grew up and you would sometimes see a man dressing as a woman. And you knew it was a man. You didn't say anything. We just, we just, yeah, we just accepted it, but we just never discussed. But this man used to put all the makeup on, he had his hair long and he used to wear suits and everything, you know, ladies suits. And that was, that's just who he was. I mean, but these days it seems like everybody needs to be put in a box with a label. And I just find it bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Oh, what do you think? What have you got thoughts on this? I mean, you don't have to agree with me. That's fine. I'm not saying that my thoughts are the right thoughts. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't, I, I'm always interested to read your thoughts. Mine aren't the right thoughts. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. It's great freedom of speech. So uh, yeah. Got a fly balloon. So I'm not liking the weather at the moment. But I'd just like to say that where we're going to, it's in the 30s today. So I'm hoping that next week it'll still be in the 30s. It is forecasted. It is forecasted. So I've just still got a few bits to buy. I still need to find some sunglasses. Um so I've got a list of things I need to buy. I'm buying stuff left, right, and thinking centre. Where's my list? I bought three new pairs of shoes on Saturday. They came to just short of two hundred pounds. That's my list of things to pack on the day. So what else do I need? I, I don't need sandals. Yeah, loads. I eat um, extra strong mints. These ones, tree balls. I eat those by the dozens. Um, so I need loads and loads and loads of those. Uh, sunglasses. I bought a handbag, but I'm still a bit iffy of whether or not I like it. So um, this is it. That's my just for in the evening. It's a bit big, but so I need to put like the key card in and. My other half's glasses, um, lipstick. Uh, that's about it, really. That's all I'll be taking with me. I need some yoga outfits, you know, like, like yoga shorts and a t-shirt. So I can do yoga, but I can also go in the gym if need be. So, oh, I treated myself last week. Treated myself. To my new Kindle. So I've downloaded four books so far, some trashy chiclet. But if you can recommend, if you got this far and you're still really listening to me, <laughs> can you recommend some more books? Because I've got four downloaded, 
But if it's anything like last time we went on holiday, I read three in less than a week. So, and that was even when I had small children with me. Uh, so, I'm going to have a lot more free time. As well as blogging, showing you around. I will be doing that, don't worry. Uh, so, yeah. Give me some rec recommendations for, for some trashy lit, chick lit that you've read and you think, yeah, you might like this. So with that, I'm going to sign off now because my throat is getting really, really dry and my mouth is really, really sore. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and I will see you next time. Stay safe.